two, three. Welcome back. Oh my God, are we really doing this? Am I really back on We're back. What's up, guys? I have so missed everyone. If you're new to the channel, this is an adventure-based channel. We do lots of great things here. It's all kinds of content. Bronco-based, fabrication-based, uh, completely overland-based, um, and anything else that gets the creative juices flowing outdoors. That's what we do here. Now, that being said, I'm back, guys. My arm is... Uh, really good. Uh, the ones that are just joining, I've been out for about four months. Uh, I, I had an injury, I tore my bicep. It looks kind of funny, you can still see it's weird. Uh, but I got a release from an orthopedic surgeon yesterday. I have another doctor in next week and then I see uh, what's called a, uh, what was, um, an impairment doctor next to verify how much impairment I have before I go back to work. Nevertheless, uh, we just got back from a trip I'm letting everything dry out, so I figured I'd stage a video, make you think I was camping, but at least make you think that we're coming back to the channel. We are. Um, I'm excited to say there's all kinds of stuff to, to do uh, to get going again. I, I've upgraded like camera gear, I've upgraded some things, I have some things on the shelf that need to go out of the Bronco, I have some changes that I need to make to the trailer, uh, and we'll go over all of that. The biggest thing I wanted to do is say hello and thank you for the support. The support has been bananas. Um, I have to say that uh, I couldn't be happier to have you type of people supporting me and following me. That being said, uh, we have the suspension coming up. King is almost finished with the uh, adjustable two and a half coilovers for the front of the Bronco, which means the entire long arm Baja tra uh, travel kit will go on the Bronco. We'll get a video of that. Um, I have the AIG um, lighting upgrade for the interior of the Bronco, we need to do that, we'll cover that because everybody knows that one of the only and terrible things about the Bronco is you can't even see in it. At half the time in daytime you need a flashlight. Either way, we'll go over that. I've made some uh, small tweaks to the Bronco, we'll go over that. Uh, what else? Oh! ARB got back with me about the failed uh, Bluetooth controller system for their ARB dual um, air compressor setup. So they got with me even though, if you'll go back and watch that video, I'll post it up here, over here. They, they said that they couldn't do anything for me, they weren't gonna do anything for me. Well, when I said I was completely displeased with that answer, and that I was gonna have to explain that to my uh, followers on YouTube, it changed immediately. All of a sudden, they got somebody else to call me back, let me know that they were so sorry that it happened and it failed out of the box, brand new, and that they would do everything they could to, to get me a new one. Well, I guess it took them two and a half months, or four months, really, to get it to me, but they did, an entire new set. So what we'll do is we'll take the old stuff out that's broken, put the new stuff in, and we'll cover that in a video, and we'll see if it actually works. Because remember, we run a four-tire setup based on a twin ARB uh, compressor setup, and that's how we air up and air down. Well, this will give us the ability to Bluetooth it from our phone, hook all four up, and I can either go down with it or I can go up with it, whatever I'm doing. So we'll be able to control that, set the actual desired uh, pressure on it and walk away. And then, and then when it's done, it'll stop by itself. That's impressive. So if I want to air down to 15 pounds, I set it to 15 pounds, walk out, talk to my friends while they're going to each tire and doing it or pulling valve stems or checking their pressure constantly, I'll be talking to them. Uh, so in my opinion, that's a game changer when it comes to their true overlanding and trips. Uh, a seven to 11 day trip, you'd probably spend six hours airing up and airing down, which is sad. That's you know almost one of your days. So out of an 11 day trip, you spend almost one, nine, one whole day airing up, airing down. So... I know we tend not to think that those are important things that we need to invest our kid in, but I would say that a good air system is probably in your top 10 lists uh, required for overlanding uh, and, and enjoyment of overlanding. Because if your wife or girlfriend is sitting in a car waiting an hour every time you get off payment and on payment, she's not going to be happy. So keep that in mind. That being said, um, 
how we jump off, I don't know. I wanted to get this video out to you and know that, that it's coming back into play. Uh, like I said, I got some new video equipment, an incredible new camera uh, that you guys will see. I've posted a few pictures on Instagram about it. Uh, it'll be the new main platform for videoing. Other than that, um, we'll do a mixture of phone, GoPro, and, and uh, right before I got injured, I got one of the new um, uh, Sky Duo drones so we'll start incorporating that i incorporated it in the telluride series if you want to watch that new year's eve telluride series the drone work i did with that was with the sky duo it was incredible it was really cool work um what else everything else in the family is good uh also i have some things coming up i i got with uh, armadillo customs and design last week on some conceptual ideas i have for the bronco uh we may be changing the top ursa minor has since fall on their face. I don't know what's going to happen with that. They, they, are, they are radio silent. So we'll have to figure that out as well. Nevertheless, I don't have any events specifically coming up yet. Uh, I was going to try to make the supercell in uh, Buena Vista, Colorado for the Bronco uh, engagement. I don't think I'm going to make it. Um, I don't know that I'll make the Ozarks. I don't know that I'll make a lot of things this year. Because really this year, because of the injury and because I have put myself so back at work, I have a lot of stuff to catch up on. And so obviously my work is what fuels the fire for all the stuff that we do. Unfortunately, because I'm still, I'm monetized, but not in a sense that it pays the bills. So uh, I hope to change that. We, we passed 2,000 in our second year. We passed 2,000 subscribers. I, I think we're past 2,100 subscribers in our second year. That's mind blowing uh, considering four and a half months of the second year, I wasn't even in production because uh, of the injury and surgery and stuff. So, we have a lot of stuff coming. We have a lot of changes that we're making in the Bronco. I, there's some new performance stuff that we're gonna add to it. Not for performance, but more for ease of towing when they're towing the trailer. Just kind of things that, um, we'll call them performance-based, but really I use them as a way to take pressure off the drivetrain and power plant and all that stuff and, and make things easier on the Bronco to do what it does. Uh, what else did i say i missed you guys i miss this stuff like crazy and that's why i did this theatrical beginning and stuff because i'm just super excited i've got a lot of ideas and a lot of things that are coming out there's going to be a lot of production videos uh coming out soon a la uh we'll have to do the arb fixing video we'll do the aig install video um and i have some other things that need to be installed and then i have some upgrades that we need to go over about whether i like them or don't like them or, or how they worked um we have some new videos coming up as far as we're going to be changing the top on the Bronco. Uh, like I said before, we've been working with Armadillo Design, and I think that may be the way we go. It may not be. It could be Hatchet Overland. Depends on what they do and if they design the Bronco top. That being said, I have a review on the Bronco coming up. I have, a, I think, a three-year review coming up on this uh, Tiny Camper Company's Overland Kong trailer. Um, so there's lots of stuff coming up. And I'm sorry, this is not probably the video you wanted. This is not the video where I was showing you a camping reel and a bunch of stuff, uh, or I was showing you some kind of fabrication, new, neat stuff. Um, we'll, we, we will be doing that for sure. I am going to fabricate some new stuff, and I'll show you that real quick so that you'll understand what we're doing. How's that? Okay. Okay, I'm not sure what to call it, but everybody familiar with the channel, this is Kong. This is my uh, Tiny Camper Company's Kong trailer. And it's an exp expedition trailer, uh, off-road camper, whatever you want to call it. Either way, it's what I take all kinds of banana places. So, what I've been struggling with is this rack. I love the rack up front. The only problem with it is, is it creates a dramatic amount of drag on the trailer. So, we're going to have to redo it. And what we're going to do is we're going to remove this rack in its entirety. And then what I plan to do is we'll show you back here. Let me take this off. I have this thing rest it open uh oh this is open. okay so what I plan to do is at the base of the trailer down there make a swing out that'll close behind this door we'll move all of that from over there onto back of this swing out on the back of this and um, get it to where the weight is more distributed from front to back because with all this stuff up on here we are overweight on the tongue weight. So not by much, but we are. So I need to get that pulled and then and 
get it more distributed to the rear. So that's what we're going to do. That's one of the first fabrication projects we're going to do. So if you haven't seen a swing out project, I've done swing out projects before, swing out bumpers and swing out hitches. This is going to be kind of in the middle of those. Um, that being said, it'll be on the trailer. And the reason being is like I said, down in there, you can see where the hitch is. Um, I'll still use that. It'll be right above that where you see that two inch bar going from left to right. We'll made it to that and it'll swing out and be open. The cool thing about it is no longer will I have to lift that generator up and over my head to put it on that rack. Um, but I'm pretty sure that moving forward by the end of this year, I don't know if we'll have the completed uh, new camper setup, which I'm not going to tell you what it is yet because it's still a secret. Um, but we're going to have a new camping setup as well. So we'll still have Kong, but we'll have something else. You'll have to stick around for that one. Anyway, this is just a quick insert video. I just want to let you guys know that I'm alive, that we are still out doing the things that we've always done. I just had a huge setback with the arm. I, like I said, you know, four months is a long time to, to take off everything, take off life, take off work, take off everything. Um, so I hope you guys stick around. There's going to be some neat stuff coming along the channel. I just got to get back in the groove. I'm not sure that I'll be back to my regular release uh, schedule every weekend like I have been before. Um, I went two years without missing a weekend. Unfortunately, that's going to change a little bit just because of what I've got on my plate work-wise and channel-wise. So this is more like a vlog today. But again, thank you. Stick around. I'm going to work through the details. I'll let you guys know. Check out my Instagram. I'll, let, I'll keep putting information there. And I'll keep trying to post shorts to let you guys know what's going on. But we are retooling to get this stuff running. Okay? So, again, thanks for hanging out. And thanks for coming back. One, two, we'll see you soon. Three. There we go.